My name is Dulce Bueno. I am 22 years old. I currently work as an emergency medical technician or EMT all over the Denver metro area here in Colorado. I can have anything between 10 back-to-back -back calls or having one to two a night in a 12-hour stretch. There was a good couple of weeks where it was just nothing but COVID patients. Two thirty-seven. We're now in service. Two thirty-seven. Thank you. Got you in service. Copy, Lutheran. The goal tonight is to not only take care of our patients, but to make it home safely. I currently go to CU Denver. I'm getting my Bachelor's of Arts in Public Health. My next step is going to be paramedic school and working as a paramedic. And doing things that will decrease expenses. As a first-generation college student, it is a hard path because I don't really have anyone to go to to be like, hey, how do I apply for college? How do I apply for medical school? My goal in life is to be the role model that I never had. Copy. Working on an ambulance, we get asked a lot of the questions of what's the craziest thing you've seen. A lot of people tend to think that it's going to be those traumatic like car accidents. For me personally, it's the psychiatric calls. Right now with everything that's going on with COVID, we are seeing a lot more pediatric overdoses, a lot more any age of suicidal ideations. And a lot of the times it's just holding their hand and told them that it's gonna be okay and it's okay to cry and it's okay to be sad right now. 237, copy. You give us a landline, please. It does take a toll when you're getting back-to-back -back calls of these things happening. It's another one of those nights. strange